श्री राम्स आई ए एस सर्विंग द नेशन सिंस नाइनटीन एटी फाइव अब ऑफ लाइन हो या ऑन लाइन वी आर द लाइफ लाइन माई सेल्फ उत्कर्ष एंड आई मे फैकल्टी एट श्री राम्स आई ए एस एज फार एज माई इंट्रोडक्शन इज कंसर्न इवन दो इट डू नॉट लुक्स लाइक लाइक बट येस आई एम डन विद माई अटैम्प्ट ओके लॉन्ग वे बैक एंड सिंस दैन आई एम इन टू दिस इंडस्ट्री थ्रू आई यू कैन से दैट इट स्टार्ट विद डिफरेंट रोल्स ना वंस यू आर जस्ट एन एस्पायरेंट it starts with copy evaluations copy reviewers then content developers then you reach to the faculty wala side so <laughs> this is how the things ended for me uh, so like once i was done with my attempts uh, life took turns so i was like uh, i just did bsc simple bsc okay so i was in the situation ki whether to in really go in this line or not because the thing is that uh, this line is monetary rewarding to be very honest Every and when who so ever is at good place get a good payment, you know that. Fair enough. So I was like, okay, what have you achieved? Okay, you have achieved two interviews. That only thing you can brag upon now once you reach the interview stage. But if you do not clear now, it doesn't matter whether you have cleared uh, this examination. Then it's thumbs up. If you haven't, then it's like thumbs down from every side because interview something that everyone is appearing. This was my mindset. Every year, almost three thousand people are appearing for the interview. Uh, I will say, depending on the seat ratio, you know that. Okay, one ratio three. So somewhere twenty five hundred to three thousand. Okay. So I was just having this thought: What should I do? But I was fortunate enough to I got one fellowship of the government of India, through which I worked directly with the district magistrate. Okay, uh, Muzaffar Nagar, one of the peaceful city of the India. I will say districts, huh? No. Okay, so I worked there for the two years as a consultant. Okay, so I was good brain to the district. So instead of being limited to one department, I was forced in the name of we are giving you opportunity to grow. Well, I was forced to work in n number of other departments. So I worked in all departments, be it police, be it health management, whatever be the case, PRIs and all. So. now the situation is that when my students who are going into the assistant collectorship or something so i tell them this trick and they say the sir yes you know better than us but only for 2 years that's all i can say <laughs> okay so this is how that things started for me i executed my plan b after exhausting my attempt then the situation was ki that is strict na in like uh, basically in your government side or whole government side people are not that workaholic okay specifically traditional set you your pscs i will say upsc wala people are good they want to work yaar like you young generation are ready to work na okay 8 hours 10 hours is fine but wo jo pcs like 35 years mein usne exam clear kiya hai the person cleared the 30 exam in the 35 years so he is already done so he is like no now rest mentality is like that only so i was like okay so whatever work was allotted to me in the district i ensured that i do in the 4 5 hours and i was like i have to do nothing i'm wasting my time so i just said what i can do so it was like okay you have done upsc 7 years of your life you can do upsc only so i started teaching so this is how my teaching journey faculty ship mentorship whatever you can say this is how it started and uh, from my like first uh, i will say initiative itself I, it uh, was like results were there so somehow i started hoping this i will say upsc side then i was like when i were done with the fellowship so i was in situation what to do so, shall i go in the public policy consultancy line or the upsc line the only thought that came in my mind okay you wanted to be an ips officer i never wanted to be an ips officer never so i was like kyu banna hai ips officer it should be ips like i started with the nda got recommended but merit out then cds <laughs> okay then it's like ips was the only choice so i was like everyone calls ias sir and i have good students who call me sir and they are an ias officer only so i was like this line is good so whoever is there will call you sir only <laughs> okay so that's how i ended up being here chalo nevertheless i guess more than enough ha huh? we can start the session for the purpose that we are here
So in nutshell, I can say in last five years, I have played negligible role in a number of selections. Uh, answer writing, mains, ethics, and interview guidance program of mine got little bit, I will say, well settled in the CPS industry. Like IGP is something people look after. Okay, this is how the things are starting. So I ended up being here, then in front of you, conducting the workshop. So let's start with that. Anna, it's not bohat mahol banane ke liye <laughs> Chale. So let's start. So basically A to Z workshop, huh? SC. So how many of you are done with your uh, foundation course or have appeared for your prelims? Just let me know. Done, everyone. Fair enough. So have you ever tried writing essay? Just, just uh, some chit chat before I begin. What issues did you face? So the title missing all the things because uh, of my unorganized skills. Like uh, good and at the same time, I had stories only, and uh, in the in the in the out of thousand words, uh, I ended up writing my own stories, and as a result, as a result. Okay, so analysis was missing, right? As well as it was unorganized. I'm just noting down your problems. One good thing has happened with you. I will tell you. Okay. Hmm. Linking? Can I say? Linking is an issue for you guys. You guys can come up if you want. You in the front row. It's fine. Okay. Structure. Okay. Can I say flow is missing? Single word, I'm just summarizing the things. Yes, what else? Very good. Can I say it is mechanical rather than organic? We will talk what is mechanical, what is organic, but for the time being, mechanical is something which you can say looks like written by a machine. And what is the difference between I and machine? You and machine, what is the difference? Emotions, let's sum up it one word only. Anna, UPSC rewards when you are answering it in crispness. Huh? So emotions it is. Hmm. Fair enough. Okay. What else? Kisi, huh? Content? It is not an issue. I will just ensure that you will take your words back up within 30 minutes of this session. For me, I'm just writing it for sake of your respect, but it, this is not an issue. I'm not accepting it as a point. Not any personal enmity towards you. I have given equal respect to every problem, but this is not any problem for me. You are reading GS? You all have done the foundations? You all are doing Chai Pe Charcha in the ORN? You know? With your roommates, with your friends? Even in the politics, you are finding UPSC? No? It is there. But still, if you look at the th side and you say, I'm short of content, I do not agree to it. Sorry. Anyone else? You, you, are, you should be a lawyer, huh? giving a right reasoning. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Jokes about <it>, fine. Okay. <laughs> Anything from your side? No, nothing. So I think the foremost problem or the first problem writing an essay is to write. People start and it's blank. Mind is not working, fogging it is there and you are unable to write even a single word. It, is it? Has it happened with anyone? So that's why I said if you are not having this problem, if you are do not having this problem, then you are at the right side. At least you are having some problem which can be acted upon. First thing is that people say that, sir, I do not know how to start this essay, how to end this essay. Yellow. So if you look, what does an essay have? 
introduction okay i will just denote it from letter y i then i will say body correct then it is conclusion fair enough okay how many of you have seen the upsc syllabus of sa anyone who would like to speak what is the syllabus no you can google it out don't worry if you feel you can just have a look at i just want the wordings you can google if you want you can google it's total open i will say session na so everything is open book open arguments uh, what is yes only you sc ka syllabus nothing else i'm talking about the sc syllabus don't shoot bullets in the air we have enough men to shoot ha ha speak na no are itna time to lag raha hai bolo yaar koi bhi bolo is tarah google karne mein kitna time laga rahe ho tum log no फर्स्ट पेज में आपके है कुछ वर्ड्स जस्ट लुक एट इट द डॉक्यूमेंट दैट यू हैव गॉन गेट आई गेस व्हाट आर दीज वर्ड्स दिस इज आर दीज आर द की वर्ड्स फ्रॉम योर सिलेबस ओनली हाँ स्पीक स्लो बाय स्लो मतलब वन वर्ड बाय वर्ड लिटिल स्लो so please give attention as well now google time is over he will speak and i will just decode you can have a look towards your paper as well this sheet has something for you guys hai na yes you speak what's your name bro sait 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 okay please and i can speak yaar so it says ha huh, what has happened you have started speaking i guess okay fine leave it stop they will be expected to keep closely i'm just deciphering from here on what the content of the session is starting before that it was just ice breaking session kind of thing okay so he will be speaking the word is already there in your pdf i'm just explaining the same closely the first problem with the essay writing is that when you start essay writing is almost 11.5 pages that you have at your disposal 11 pages in total half pages because four essay has been written in the first page itself anyone has anyone has seen the essay paper model essay paper matlab jo means wala hota hai not question paper nahi theek hai 11.5 it is problem is that you read essay command once you read the essay topic once and you start forgetting it so what you have to do that your whole of the essay should be in the closely written manner you have to read reread reread again first thing okay so word by word if i say closely two things are you have to do read again and again okay second thing to keep anything closely what you should do what you should do you can ask the same topic to be present in your essay this is the mistake that people do not understand like whatever has been written as a title of your essay don't worry we will practice for the time being just take it as a word while practicing i will ensure that what i mean over here i'm just explaining theek hai ek essay aaj acche se practice bhi karenge don't worry about it when i say closely you have to use your title again in some form or other so that your idea directly indirectly gets linkage with the title getting it fair enough okay just share ek document mein apne liye bhi mangai lo in logo se just team se bol dete hain
ओके चलो सेकेंड वर्ड प्लीज अभी फॉर द टाइमिंग क्लोजली यू हैव टू री यूज योर टाइटल यू हैव टू री रीड योर एस अगेन एंड अगेन सेकेंड वर्ड orderly orderly this is the word and what is orderly if you say arrange orderly theek hai arrange means arranging something let's leave it orderly means there should be some order if the roll call is there remember we know that no my name is utkar so you will come in the end i will start speaking after the at least t is over getting it that's how our college mindset when we used to mark our proxies no second what is orderly suppose history bhi aaya essay essay is on history can you ensure that ancient should be first then my dival then you go for the modern then contemporary history modi ji ke bare mein baat karni to we will talk in the end getting it orderly hierarchy is also there suppose you are having some technological revolution you are having some technological revolution and it is related to your education technological revolution and education so can i say that how technology has influenced i can set it up in some hierarchical manner how simple example we started with writing on stones even some idiots are writing on stones huh? that hurt and arrow in our monuments <laughs> fair enough so stones we started then remember i as a i will say upsc person used to have a pen and paper always okay and three notebooks when i am attending some coaching or something so quite bulky bag but now people are going with one ipad technology is improving everything no now this is the hierarchy of technological evolution if you talk about ir not internationalization industrial revolution okay 1.0 simple machines 2.0 little bit diesel and all we had analog same machine most me aage then ir 3.0 then ir 4.0 ai and ir ir 5.0 we are talking about generative artificial intelligence getting it hierarchical orderly clear the word is clear to you guys no yes please brother next one concisely so these are your problems this is not okay these are your problems this is not okay but all of you gave me one sentence or, or, or you tried to explain something i deciphered it with one word only decoded it with one one word only this is what i say being concise so being concise means you have to write shorter sentences why two three problems i will address over here so some of you might have tried the essay as well first thing first while writing essay it might would have been the case when you started writing two three lines okay like longer sentences you you are getting grammar mistakes if the people are from the northern bit of india grammar mistakes are there i'm not stereotyping but generally we face because they are coming from the rural background and it's generally an i will say issue we are if we are ready to accept then we can act upon it if we are not ready to accept we will not act upon it any problem you are facing in the upsc journey let me be very blunt with you guys if you are not accepting it you are not going to solve it then this process become 1 to 5 years so any veteran na person like me whosoever has appearing in the interview in the after 3 plus attempts it's not like that we did not have the acumen we did not become intelligent the problem was in the first 3 years so every veteran is the fresher who wasted or was misguided in the first 2 years this is how the veterans are manufactured i will say fair enough chalo तो कमिंग बैक टू द टॉपिक कंसाइज बी कंसाइज बी टू द पॉइंट सो दैट यू डू नॉट डेविएट फ्रॉम द टॉपिक आई स्टार्टेड गिविंग दिस वेटरन वाला थिंग इट वॉज इट रिलेटेड टू अवर कंसाइजनेस नथिंग बट वेन आई स्टार्टेड वी डेविएटेड फ्रॉम अवर टॉपिक दिस वॉज द विल फॉर पर्पज टू शो यू दैट इवन इन द क्लास रूम वी डू इट और ये ज्ञानबाजी इफ गोज मोर देन एन नंबर ऑफ मिनट्स यू गैदर लाइक पका रहा है आदमी कंटेंट नहीं दे रहा 
getting it so this is the situation got it clear next word wait effective and exact what is effective hmm abhi to we are just decoding syllabus what is effective anyone who would like to give introduction of your only i am asking about the introduction who so ever like to introduce yourself lawyer sir he gave the facts he gave the facts abhi jo bol raha hu it will be repeated again while we solving this questions okay he said my name is lokesh he said i am from prayagraj uttar pradesh he said i am a lawyer let's talk on these three facts only ha he said my schooling in uh, was in my hometown only these four facts we have from his life now let me introduce so in our class we have a student who belongs from a city which is famous for confluence of three rivers and the place is known as sangam we usually have magh mela regularly then we have kumbh mela yearly and mahakumbh every 12 years and not to avail the person is known for his tongue twisters and the person has done bachelorate in the same he is a practicing lawyer meet our class fellow lokesh same introduction did i change any fact about him was it more effective this is what you have to do in essay so what i did over here let me explain you first generally we have facts in our life but essay 11 pages ka document hai 11 pages it is ha huh? so in 11 pages if in your essay you are not able to hold the reader how can you expect to get the marks did you get the document okay so if you are unable to hold the reader for 11 pages then you will not get the marks okay at the same time to hold the person rather than your essay being fact oriented rather than your essay being factual you should have emotions in it clear emotions what is emotions when i build, gave a build up basically what prayagraj sangam tongue twisters you guys became little bit emotional with the thought process okay getting it uh, darminder ji yahan pe documents chahiye bhijwa dijiye zara teen char hello documents bhijwa dijiye ek bar niche se message dal rakha hai maine okay so this is what you have to follow basically so in your essays your idea should be first idea was sangam when i said sangam you got an idea three rivers mix up tongue twister he might be something good with the i will say tongue ha huh? maybe a uh, anchor maybe a lawyer maybe something else hai na public speaker comedian whatever it is hai na last mein i said law then it gave the clarity so whatever fact you have to put up put in the last okay clear so this should be effective yes next bas okay fair enough 
so how many of you know what is coherency have you ever got the feedback in your essays that your essay was not coherent did you get the feedback how did you work on that Hmm. Two problems, one solution that is coherency. Anyone, what is coherency? Any meaning that you are able to understand or coherency? Are give a wake try, don't worry. नीचे पड़े हुए हैं नीचे पड़े हुए हाँ दो चार लगे रख दीजिए उनके पास नीचे यस कोहरेंसी फाइन लेट लीव इट कोहरेंसी मींस व्हेन देयर इस लिंकिंग एंड फ्लो बोथ आर प्रेजेंट हाउ टू चेक इट हाउ टू चेक इट दिस शुड बी योर क्वेश्चन if you are able to answer this, then your 70% of the essay is clear because you will be writing 70% essay in your body. Introduction conclusion mein essay nahi hota, body mein hota. And body mein flow missing hai. If you are missing flow in the body, then the issue is that you will get 90 marks, 100 marks. As simple as that. There you have to understand that to maintain the flow, you have to link. You can write this line as it is, meaning of the coherency. You can link last line of the previous paragraph last suppose this is the paragraph okay here i have like a uh, suppose uh, something stable polity suppose last line is talking about stable polity clear or not okay then next paragraph it is i want to start with for the economy suppose for the time being Now, if these two lines are interlinked, this idea was about the polity, this idea was about economy. In the last line, it was stable polity. There was a word only. Now, if these two lines are interlinked, thank you. Okay. So, if these two lines are interlinked, you will understand what that the presence of coherency is there for example stable polity leads to prosperity this was my total line i will say Stable polity leads to prosperity. Now, can I start anything with prosperity and economy? Economy and prosperity can be related, na? Huh? Huh? You basically, मतलब you are getting the idea, na? Any question, any query till now in the session? Clear? We are just discussing the syllabus. We have decoded the syllabus. So. When we say that if you want to clear this UPSC examination, two things should be there. First, slavers on your tips. Always say, na? any good teacher, any good topper. Hai na? Relevant toppers, I will say, not irrelevant. YouTubers come bolte hai, so. Hai na? Nevertheless. Second thing, PYQs. We will be talking about that as well. So, if you are thorough with the slavers and utilizing PYQs in the right manner, you are already on the right path. Fair enough? Chalo. Okay. So, stable polity to economy. This is how it started. Next, let's talk about now structure basically. Anna? Three parts. All of you know, there is one more part in the essay. It is somewhere here. Counter side, flip side, opposite side, 
or whatever it you can say some people i say flip side some people say it counter side some people say antithesis hai na in the essay we do thesis then we talk about the antithesis as well so whatever the essay topic is there hai na whatever essay topic is there we have to switch the sides jo bhi usme likha we have to speak against it there i will denote it with the f that is flip side clarity now moving further first thing whenever you get any topic whenever you get any topic first thing you have to do understand the topic there are two things when you read when you meet some person did uh, do you think that you can judge the person is right or wrong in the very first meeting there is always some hidden face we say yaar there are always two face that a real face comes out at a particular point of time huh? no similarly the essay is there any line anything any title have first visible meaning which is quite evident second is hidden meaning okay you have to select the essay out of eight you have to select the two now we are on the second stage of our workshop theek hai i will keep erasing agar aapko kuch note karna ho yahan se karte rahiyega theek hai i will keep erasing the back side of my okay hidden meaning and visible meaning fair enough hidden meaning in is something which you will understand with every passing day means practice okay one two i will help you out in this session itself won't go much deeper for the timing okay just hidden meaning is something which is not directly shown in the topic okay and if you are able to get the hidden meaning then your introduction becomes quite quite easy i'll let you know how okay then second thing you do say uh, sorry first thing let's talk a little bit more about it you have to select the essay out of 8 you have to select the two and what is the flow of upsc paper two essays only three hours it's not like that na no? 1.5 hours then ghante beji then you and even you do not do this practice ki first you will select one essay topic then you will start writing it you select both the essay topics at once only no no you should do it both the essay topics should be selected at once okay it takes the time why you are in the brainstorming mode you neglect any essay that i will not be able to entertain it still you think about it only then you decide na are i am short of content matlab samajh mein aa matlab still think about it so once you are in the brainstorming mode it takes your brain 5 7 minutes to be in that active mode active mode means totally active to produce more points as simple as that ha na so i will talk about here brainstorming when you are selecting your essays both the essays should should be selected once only give it a i will say thought think about it at least take 10 minutes here only okay 10 minutes practice karke this reduces to 5 minutes okay but 5 7 minutes it takes even in the mains paper 10 minutes it is now we have if you look at your essay 1 hour 25 minutes each in 10 minutes we have consumed na so we have 125 but your first essay will complete somewhere in 1 hour 35 minutes because you have consumed 5 minutes as well so you might feel while writing as in your mains that you are slow for second essay you have less time have you ever interacted with your mains appearing candidates then they say first essay was good second i was not able to time very well 
Have you ever felt that? This is the reason. So psychologically, you have to be ready. This is normal thing. These people lost their game by thinking that I do not have enough time. Okay, fair enough. Abhi we are in the active mood. Before I go into the like somewhere else, the third part of my session. Abhi pehle na, first you have to understand your enemy. Ki where he can defeat you or she can defeat you. Then you have to take charge accordingly. Okay, so one hour 35 minutes is well enough. Now, first thing. How many pages? 11.5. 11.5. We will not have half page as well. We will write that. Huh? A good handwritten page. Page with good handwriting. Unlike your GS handwriting. How long should it take? How long should it take? One page writing only. Four minutes, three minutes. Chalo, let me help you to clear some C sets as well. Ten marker question, how many minutes? Seven. 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 How many pages do you get? Two pages. One page, how many minutes? Three, five minutes. So three, four minutes if you are getting ten marker, seven minutes. Here, how many pages you are having? 11.5 hai na so how many minutes you have uh, from 10 marker wala thing 77 minutes 3 minutes more 80 minutes 1 hour 20 minutes you need don't you have 1 hour 20 minutes don't you have 1 hour 20 minutes you have na and 1 hour 20 minutes i did one mistake over here what mistake it is Seven minutes for two pages. Here, how many pages they are writing? Eleven only, na. So seven fives are thirty-five. Ten pages in thirty-five minutes. Are you getting it, C set or not? <laughs> no, I, I, I was good with the C set, yar. Aisa nahi tha. Kaid bhi clear kiya tha maine apne time pe ek baar. Theek hai. Even though I am little bit skeptical whether twenty twenty three paper I would have cleared or not. It was really tough. Okay. So you got it. 35 minutes if you are writing with bad handwriting. Now can I say 5 minutes with a good handwriting per page? Okay, agreed. How many minutes you, you need to write the paper? 55 minutes. Let's assume half minute ka kya hi lenge. Usi mein include kar lete hai na 55 minutes ka. Half page ka kuch alag nahi lete for the time being. So if you got 55 minutes, but you are taking somewhere 1 hour 35 minutes for the first essay, Plus 10 minutes, you selected one essay, both the essays. 65 minutes, still you have 30 minutes. For what? Okay, clear. So, first thing, you will be selecting your essay. Second thing, you ensure that you will be giving 25 minutes to 40 minutes. In the starting, it takes 40 minutes, 45 minutes for a good brainstorming. We will do it today. Don't worry. Okay? By the end of session, you will be having that idea. Getting it? Clear? So you got 30 minutes for the brainstorming. And even then, you have 55 minutes for a good handwritten essay. It's not bad handwriting essay. Clear? Sorted? So psychologically, you are what this this? Think in essay we need more time or something. So 30, 35 minutes you can do the brainstorming. And we will talk about it. How this 30, 35 minutes is in reality a game changer or decider of your essay paper. Fair enough. Moving to the next side. Coherency we talked about. Now I will tackle this problem, which I do not consider the problem. Content. First we have to start with the introduction. Clear? Eh? What kind of introduction is there? What types of introduction have you ever heard or have read? Anecdotes, yes. What else? Hmm. 
fair enough anything else good ek point aur reh gaya that is their anecdote ki bhai bhai ne hai na unme address kar denge data facts define simple these kind of i will say introduction that we generally see last kind of i will say we have to avoid data fact define we will avoid it at any cost preference creativity one anecdote one poem one anecdote one quotation one anecdote one conversation as simple as that okay aise chalte hain ab these things are there वट शुड नॉट बी एन एस ए फर्स्ट वो डिस्कस कर लेते हैं कि ये तो नहीं करना है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव डोंट हैव टू बी कन्फ्यूज अबाउट द कंटेंट यू हैव रेड इनफ फॉर द जी एस यू विल बी हैविंग एन नंबर ऑफ लाइन्स फॉर एवरी टॉपिक रेडी ओके सो डोंट वी वरी फॉर अनऑर्गेनाइज थिंग वी हैव टू फॉलो सर्टेन अप्रोचेस ओके वन वी विल डील टूडे लेट मी डिकोड इट फर्स्ट ऑनली मेंस के पेपर का टाइम टेबल कैसे होता है कब मतलब जी एस फोर पहले होता है पहले ऐसे होता है उसके बाद और जी एस वन में कौन से सब्जेक्ट होते हैं हिस्ट्री तो आर्ट एंड कल्चर में ही आ गया ना मतलब आर्ट एंड कल्चर हिस्ट्री में डाल दिया मैंने मतलब पता है ना आप लोगों को बेसिकली तुम तो जीएस पेपर फोर क्यों नहीं करवा देते ऐसे के बाद ओके सॉरी सो सॉरी थैंक यू फॉर रिमाइंडिंग मी आई फॉर आई हैड टू कन्वर्ट दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो व्हाई कैन नॉट वी हैव जीएस फोर जस्ट आफ्टर एस ए वाई आर वी हैविंग जीएस वन लेट्स नेम एथिक्स जीएस वन and have the examination after essay itself there must be some logic do we have to question upsc or we have to clear upsc we have to clear na simple so just follow the same flow na if you are saying that i am not getting points okay if you are saying i will just practice what topic i have given you guys yeah so just page number 7 of yours just open it up page number 7 you will find the raja ramohan rai picture the, just read the title education should enable a person to discard false values find true ones and nurture them fair enough let it be so the thing is that this is your essay है ना एंड इफ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट कंटेंट अभी वी विल नॉट बी राइटिंग आई विल गिव यू इनफ टाइम डोंट यू वरी इफ आई हैव टू जस्ट ब्रिंग आउट कंटेंट वी नीड फ्लो ना कि सम लॉजिकल फ्लो शुड बी देयर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द यू पी एस सी वे इट सेल्फ जी एस वन हिस्ट्री एनी पॉइंट रिलेटेड टू एजुकेशन फाइंडिंग ट्रू सेल्फ यू आर गेटिंग इट स्पीक ना पॉइंट एवरी वन इज रिलेटिंग इट नॉट सो वन पॉइंट कमिंग फ्रॉम देयर आर यू शॉर्ट ऑफ कंटेंट नाउ अभी वेट सोसाइटी वर्ड्स इवन अपवर्ड मोबिलिटी यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द हायर आर की कास्ट हायर की एंड ऑल इवन दैट इज देयर finding one side true are it's not my caste it's me what value i carry are you able to relate it or not we will write don't worry i'm just giving you a overview for the time being okay so the idea okay what about the geography this is the education geography yeah the the people who are in the isolated living in the let's make it uh, i will say some uh, geography land mass and all simple geography so why we are doing these explorations soil exploration mud exploration soil health to find the true nature of the soil 
what kind of fertilizers you need are you getting it or not linked with the essay now are you able to relate it why i said closely is close are, are you getting it this is closely linked with our topic to find true oneself then nurture them then only we will be helping right kind of fertilizers right kind of organic manure getting it so geography done now just try to understand you are relating geography and education are you finding it difficult no leave it gs paper 2 polity what else bhimrao ambedkar ji it's about the constitution finding yourself through the constitution rather than set norms by the these society uh, no 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 you are not lower caste your constitution do not say so getting it ir ha uh, relate relate very good soft diplomacy soft power finding your true self yoga india is saying i do not need gun to influence people to install democracy in other nations i am ready to influence people with the yoga finding your true self this is the real india vasudev kutumbakam the world is one family any question any doubt i will explain it more clear thumbs up very good getting it polity ir we have covered what about gs3 relate with the agriculture now chalo you are getting good points i will say i think i should scrap your article 19 right now in the class ha huh? <laughs> good good nice Article, uh, as you said that uh, green revolution finding true now what are you can criticize him na green revolution is showing neg negative impacts so true self is again organic farming pramparagat krishi yojana we we came up with are you getting it ki points in letter do you think now you are short of content do you think short of content anyone feeling short of content shall i stop this topic over here if you got my point how you guys are not short of content and how to basically ensure the organization now this is one just one approach that we practice we have n number of approaches tomorrow we will deal sdg approach we can have chronology approach we have discussed it we can have hierarchical approach then we can have pascal approach staple approach pascal or staple you know it political economical social technological legislative n number of approaches are there so this is how you will ensure that flow is there getting it last one but not the least one mechanical baki almost everyone everything has been there okay analysis is the same thing when you keep closely certain things you are going to relate it with the original topic or not when you are relating it with the original topic what does it mean simple you are analyzing the same yaar clear chalo moving to the next side mechanical okay we have already dealt how his introduction was mechanical and i, I made it artistic or organic in any non mechanical essay idea will proceed over fact clear sorted this is the basics of any essay writing fair enough now if you are having these things in your essay flow is missing interlinkage is missing mechanical it is then it will be your problem it will look like long gs answer 
in the absence of these things you will be having essay as an essay only clear yahan tak doubt any question any doubt no fair enough okay now come to page number फाइव इट इज हाउ वी विल नाउ प्रैक्टिस द एस राइटिंग बेसिक्स यू आर क्लियर विद नाउ वी विल प्रैक्टिस सर्टेन थिंग्स टू आई विल से सर्व दिस पर्पज ऑफ वर्कशॉप यू हैव लर्न सर्टेन थिंग्स न्यू वर यू एबल टू ग्रास्प इट और नॉट क्लियर है फेयर एनफ flip side just to explain you guys because we will go in the writing mode now flip side is something which should not be negative as well even if it is against the essay it is against the essay but not negative in general for example suppose your essay is honesty is best policy we have this quotation honesty is best policy iska flip side kya hoga an example suppose flip side for the same is as just any example example says if your lie non truth can save someone's life it's better to lie anyone here mahabharata fan mahabharat acha which lie did you like the most हाँ एंड द महाभारत एन नंबर ऑफ लाइज आर देयर श्री कृष्णा जी वाज लाइक दैट ऑन ने हाँ वन इज अश्वत्थ थामा हतो नरो वा कंजुरो है ना इट मीन्स लाइक अश्वत्थ थामा इज केल्ड बट नॉट ह्यूमन द एलिफेंट व्हाट एल्स इट सेव सम लाइफ्स एल्स महाभारत वुड हैव बीन आई विल से राइट वुड हैव बीन ऑन द रिसीविंग एंड नॉट महाभारत Karna as time as well. Exactly. So it means in the flip side itself you can have the small anecdotes. Clear? Fair enough. So now I'm summarizing introduction, body, conclusion for you guys one by one. Then we will write. Okay. Just read this fifth page. After once I'm done, then we will have the brainstorming practice. wherever you are getting stuck just let me know okay first thing introduction generally what i have found after analyzing n number of copies evaluating n number of copies taking n number of classes talking with n number of toppers of essay what i have understood that these toppers are in reality writing innovative introductions they are attracting the examiner in the very first hour itself or the very first 20 minutes itself okay so first thing anecdotes are being rewarded even poems are being rewarded now what you should understand if you are writing a good essay it means you should have at least some theme wise poems ready themes wise introductions ready you know that education is important topic can you get i will say 10 15 introductions ready on education itself ready means just have some practice on the education themes similarly maybe philosophical essays are there if philosophy is what successful failure of life this is what philosophy is everyone relates the same hai na can you have some quotations ready on the life can you have some quotations ready if you are adopting gs approach you know that you have to link gs1 with the gs2 gs2 with the gs3 this is how your essay will be moving forward can you have some quotation within the paragraphs ready to write the same no for example in the starting itself i have given you certain quotations itself you might utilize the same while writing 
fifth page i am talking about the fifth page only first thing education and values you will find four or five quotations getting it so introduction you are having now in the body we can have a number of approaches today we will practice gs approach because we have dealt in depth tomorrow we will have sdg approach okay then body ke baad flip side it is there after body it is flip side then we will talk about the conclusion one good thing i have observed the people who are writing good essays you will find in the concluding remarks of the essay or the concluding part of essay they are again writing about whatever they have started in introduction suppose a person has a person has woven a story around the rohit a cricketer okay he will ensure that in conclusion somehow rohit as a cricketer is mentioned again suppose in the introduction he mentioned rohit was struggling with the performance pressure okay rohit sharma let's suppose okay rohit sharma is having bad patch but he did not give up he stick to the basics he started going nca he started going for the training from the first class like guy and then he performed again in a crucial match okay this was the whole story i will say of the introduction so in the conclusion he was talking about the struggles and all last line he wrote people in the bad times can always look towards the rohit the values tan 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 whatever values the rohit have showed hai na the rohit showed should be not only respected but implemented in their life concluded so it means if you are starting introduction body flip side conclusion you started like this you are going this conclusion this is what i say completing the circle if you analyze topper copies you will find that conclusion is being there where you are completing the circle sorted now body becomes important when you write about the quotations when you write about the thinker so body should be there like if you are writing 10 pages suppose 12 paragraphs are there you should have five six quotations linking two paragraphs it gives good impression now within the body depth is being reported uh, rewarded depth is being rewarded what is depth suppose what's your name yani yani uh, spell it out g a g l a l a acha g n a n i acha yani okay thank you okay so suppose yani is there and uh, he is writing essay on the federalism okay first paragraph he will talk about the federalism whatever he did talk next paragraph he is going deeper into the federalism maybe he is talking about asymmetric federalism if he is talking about some uh, different power games or he is talking about the physical federalism as such a demand jo bhi hai means federalism was umbrella word now you are going in deeper some other concepts from the same so if you go like this this depth is being rewarded by the upsc so the problem that you guys face from after this i will say part of the session that what to analyze in topper's copy they are just writing it out what should we i will say extract this is the problem when you see the topper copy because essay something not that i evaluator will give you evaluated and you will understand the same essay needs to be thought upon essay needs to be taught upon if i'm giving certain comments i should say why you am giving this comment it might be the case that the argument that you put up will force me to no no you are also right then there comes the confidence if you are reading some essay sometimes you feel are this i have written as well you get the confidence but sometimes you yaar whatever he has written i do know all this but why here the person has written in some some manner a topper copy analysis this is the thing that you have to look whether it is depth how the interlinkage is there what kind of i will say approach the topper has adopted 
you will find n number of toppers have been affected by the anthropology because they are interlinking their optional with their essay they are choosing such kind of essays where they can subtly show their optional knowledge clear sorted it so this is the depth fallacy okay then coherency should be there body is all about coherency i have already explained the coherency i am not going again in the depth okay body is about then coherency as well fair enough then within body if you talk about examples you will get good mocks example basically if i talk about glorification of india if you are able to glorify india in any manner when i said vasudev kutumbakam did you find find feel good factor or not ha uh, vasudev kutumbakam modi ji ha vishwamitra this is how it is okay clear so three things that you have to keep i will in mind depth coherency examples if it is there then you are on the right path hmm introduction i have already told innovation when i talk about the conclusion conclusion is generally ethical part of your answer or your essay once you are done with the flip side then you have to again come to the positive side and positive sides mean gyan bazi means gyan bazi okay when you are writing the positive side you have to be assured it should be just like any conclusion futuristic optimistic ethical words if you can quote some a uh, person uh, rabindra tagore or anyone else it is good last but not the least that should be present everywhere but i have seen people who are using in the conclusion are getting good marks is sanskrit so sanskrit is being rewarded ab sanskrit mein you don't have to write the literature sarve bhavantu sikhana sukhina sarve bhavantu niramaya more than enough getting it sham one two liner shlokas of the sanskrit is also helping people to fetch the marks as simple as that so udmeni siddhanti karyani na maron rath hai you can just write it out nahi subtas pravishyate sihas mukhya mega don't worry mujhe bhi panch hi aate hai wo main hi essay mein bhi wahi likh ke aa raha hu theek hai dosme se suna diye teen fir kabhi kal suna denge theek hai this is how the things are okay so you got it clear फ्लो इज क्लियर इंट्रोडक्शन बॉडी फ्लिप कंक्लूजन फ्लो जी एस वाला फॉलो करेंगे आज नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाउ टू जनरेट द कंटेंट ऑफ एस यूनिक कंटेंट हा मदर अर्थ शोज डेमोक्रेसी हाउ क्वेश्चन इज फॉर यू गैस ना चाय पे चर्चा वाला क्वेश्चन है मदर अर्थ शोज डेमोक्रेसी हाउ accepted accepted what else good enough <laughs> good enough <laughs> nice one is what else acha 4d is there in the democracy deliberation discussion debate and dissent no ncert nahi padhte tum log mujhe nahi aata tha ncert mein padha maine bhi dissent it is there so how does mother earth shows dissent good this is the point landslide earthquake mother is showing dissent only na unique way 
Now to generate such points, what you have to do? What do you have to do? Read non-UPSC books, as simple as that. Okay, so if you are uh, like a person who wants to excel in ethics, essay and interviews as well, read non-UPSC books. 20 minutes, 25 minutes, it should be there. And book type should be generally, I will say, if it is self-help book, it is good. Read Monk who sold his Ferrari. Read, I will say this, Atomic Habits and number of other books. Okay, read biographies. Biographies, autobiographies, both. For example, if you read about the Kalamji, Ignited Minds, Wings of Fire, you will get a number of points. So there is one more person, if you want to follow, you can follow Simon Sinek. How many of you follow the person? Simon Sinek, S-I-M-O-N-S-I-N-E-K, huh? he's a nice person. So I don't watch his whole video, he's a, I will say addictive little bit with his thought process. Watch his shots, you will get n number of points for your ethics, n number of points for your anecdotes and all. Sorry, I am not getting it. Uh, Simon Sinek only. Like his YouTube channel is there. Okay, he posts there on regular basis. Okay, fair enough. So there you get the content. Apart from that, in market, market is flooded with the content. But the market is not flooded with the thought process. Everyone is saying read this, read that. But what about the thought process? Hana? No one is saying anything. For that, you should have some one non UPSC book every time in your hand. Whenever you are not preparing for the UPSC, one, like 20 25 minutes, doable, I guess. It will directly or indirectly help you in ethics and essay. Fair enough. Chalo. So, you can, uh, I will say, read this two pager document, five or six. I'm just giving you somewhere how many minutes you need three minutes two pages just read it out then we will pay, practice gs approach page number five and six just read it out once time's up so basically now we are in the situation where we have just read the content you cannot say that I do not have the content, sir. <laughs> okay, I have just zeroed it out. Okay, so you have just read the content. You know how to write essay. And uh, we know a number of things about the essay now. You cannot say that, sir, I do not know now. We are almost one hour, 20 minutes in this workshop. And uh, at the same time, sir, please uh, share the document online as well. Yes, sir, please share it. Just let me do it just give me a moment sorry i just saw your messages just give me a moment guys let me share the document online as well it is available on the shiram's channel i'm just sharing over there telegram only okay so we are in the situation uh, where we generally start following the things for the essay writing. So you have already followed the content. I have just given you one unique introduction in your, I will say page number eight, I guess. No, page number seven. So if you just read it out, introduction, I'm reading it for all of you. Okay. Education must help discard false values and uh, this is the conversation between Raja Ramohan Roy and the modern man, contemporary man. So see, uh, simple conversation can be introduction. Ha what Raja Mohan uh, Rai would have, have uh, said to, I will say, men in the present times. This is, education must help those discard false values, uncover the truth. In my time, I fought against superstition and social ills. How does your word address this? He is just curious whether the world is still facing the same issues or not. So the contemporary man is replying, we face issues like misinformation, materialism. Okay, so how education is going to address this? 
and shallow success ideals education today often emphasizes grades over critical thinking grades over critical thinking getting it now you can understand from your introduction itself that in uh, while decoding this essay you will be talking about grading system as well like in one of the themes education is important theme is an important thing of gs3 no in gs1 as well you can relate the education fair enough okay then uh, or ethical living making it difficult to focus on true values ethical living what is ethical true values hai kya like person has given if you find the conversation raja ram mohan rai is trying to give the answer a person is trying to raise the questions okay next raja ram mohan rai ji indeed education should cultivate reason morality and empathy like it should be there what does it shows our founding fathers i will say our founding fathers the values on which this idea of india is standing it's not bjp it's not congress it's the founding fathers of our times on where i will say india is standing fair enough getting it without questioning what is just and meaningful we fall into trap of greed and ignorance you guys are stuck in these problems now indirectly raja ram mohan rai is saying it means we will talk about these points in our essay okay what values should modern education promote now he is asking you should say it means the raja ram mohan roy ji is asking modern men to have the solutions of your own problems i created solution from my problems in the first instance itself getting it it's not like that he is trying to give solutions to the modern men no what should be the solution now contemporary men empathy integrity and pursuit of truth now if you talk about it you will get to know gandhi ji nelson mandela and number of other people dimensions are opening up theek okay? hai we need education that promote justice equality environmental sustainability it means the, all the pressing issues that we are having the presently and it is answer of mis misinformation materialism as well and shallow success the problem that he raised okay encouraging independent thinking and moral responsibility he was talking about the grades so while concluding he will be there so in conclusion i will be utilizing last line of the contemporary man was the introduction unique hai na so this is how you have to think upon see n number of uh, introductions conclusion can be thought upon okay i just gave you an idea okay so i will give you how i entered into this like conversation kind of introductions so i am a theater artist during my i will say college day, uh, days i was then right now i sometimes i do sometimes i don't most of the times i don't i will say okay so we used to have the role play techniques so in education whenever essay used to come i used to make one person education secretary okay this is how it is so education secretary and conversation with some other person then one day i was just see before you start preparing for the upsc you are an idiot i was as well accept it but once you start preparing for the upsc in reality it transforms you okay so a kid was going there and i was like hey, i was just having fun matlab uh, i'm just saying in hindi because feel nahi aayega bhai okay then i will converse without feeling for sure so it was like jitna tera vajan nahi hai to utna to bag utha ke ja raha hai apna matlab the kid was fourth fifth class one so basically his bag was heavier than his own weight so i was having fun with that guy so after saying that words i was like modern education this is what my modern education is okay so next time when i was practicing essay the education secretary was having the conversation with his grandchild who was complaining his dada ji hey you are at such a good position why you are why are you not making my school bag light this was the conversation when it started and it ended up he yes reforms in the education system discarding the slavers separating the slavers in two parts which can be taught as a book pen method or which can be taught in the practical manner why cannot we have separation okay so i was i took my essay on that line. i literally got good marks in the mains as well that year okay so you observe your surroundings once you 
end up in this mode na this is how you have okay so mars orbiter mission failed everyone remember so i was having this discussion with one of the students only i did not write that as a she wrote so she was as she was on like uh, something boon and bane i am unable to recall some whole but it was about the technology is boon as well as bane it depends how you use it it was a quotation just was like it was boon and bane okay so now mars orbiter mission boon or bane so it was bane ha na fail na it was bane for the time being so i asked her uh, if even if it is bane there would have been certain discoveries there would have been certain things which got the things right up to that extent you get. then she was in research mode she got certain points women representation was also there in mars orbiter mission 2 it increased she has the data getting it so now you start observing the things like that once you struggle there so my purpose was to tell you all this this is not that something that you have to i will say steal from topper copy or go for the market that someone should teach you no it should not be your case you sh it should be your case that you should be the organic person okay suppose india india can be a common word in any i will say essay topic no if india is common word start with a poem poem on india is easily available on the internet rat lo mug it up if not then just describe it a landmass which is surrounded by water on the southern side a landmass which is guarded by the himalayas on the northern a landmass north east west plains just talk about the geography say this landmass is about diversity fraternity let's stop calling it a landmass but accept it as a legend as mark twain twain said and there is a legend remember getting it artistic this is how we have to understand for the essay on the side brainstorming is the real key fair enough you have read the things you have read the introduction is as well so don't read page number 8 or 9 there i have just given you for some help of yours okay come to page number 10 11 so page number 10 you got whole one page for the introduction page number 11 and 12 you have gs12 gs1 uh, gs1 2 3 4 correct page number 13 you have conclusion full page correct so this we will be practicing for the today's workshop theek okay? hai introduction you will be writing fully full introduction whatever comes in your mind one page only just listen up the commands then i will start my timer as well then gs 1 2 3 4 you don't write whole essay we do not have that much of time i i guess you would have not allowed me to have a 5 hour workshop and i would have given 1.5 hours to the essay writing okay so what we have to do suppose oh sorry this is the paper gs paper hai na gs paper one you just write the way we were having this just discussion ki para one i will talk about suppose x just leave it write two three lines one two lines not more than that suppose you are going in depth just write para 2 d for depth okay just have three four dimension at least per para per paper i will say not more than that not less than that at least three dimension should be there because we have that one subject na history geography society ha abhi history ke dimensions mein nahi gaya main if i go there a number of points are from there okay polity ir governance agri economy environment science and tech disaster management internal security gs4 is ethics so one page should be given gyan bazi ko sabko hi kar leta hai then last page try to write full conclusion conclusion what you have to remember circle complete the circle whatever you talk in the introduction you complete the circle 
Fair enough. Got the approach. Let us start. How many minutes you will be getting for the brainstorming? Thirty. We had the calculation, I guess. ऐसे तो सिलेक्ट करना नहीं यही है ना आपको मिला हुआ है ठीक है डोंट यूज दिस इंट्रोडक्शन यू कैन राइट टू सम अदर थिंग ओके चलो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट हाँ द एस एट द टॉपिक इज Keep remembering that whatever I have told you, re-reading, make it relatable. Then the topic is this one, na. Education should enable a person to discard false values. I will write it as well. Don't worry. I'll just discuss something in the end. A recording will be available. Please make sure that you watch it. Ah, uh, it will be available on the YouTube by tomorrow, I guess. Okay. Ha. Huh. Same time, four to six. I will discuss one topper's approach. Post that. Okay, I will just tell you how to self-evaluate. Two topics I have. Done. How many of you wrote this much for the very first time? ऐसा कोई है जिसने फर्स्ट टाइम रोड सम पेजेस ऑन द एसे हाउ डिड इट फील इफेक्टिव सो पर्पज ऑफ आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन डिड यू फील दैट देर वॉज एन इनर्शिया विद इन यू विच वॉज फोर्सिंग यू गर्स नॉट टू थिंक फॉर एनी टॉपिक फॉर थर्टी मिनट्स और समथिंग एंड नॉट टू राइट एट ऑल वॉज इट समथिंग Did you feel something that there was inertia from within, which was stopping you guys to write an essay till now? No, it's fine. Doing good. Chalo then. This is what happens when you have content and right direction. Basically, simple. Now you were not alone. You already had, I will say, some impetus from the session. Okay, so you know that where what not to do. in this examination to be very honest no one knows what works until or unless what works but what everyone should know what not to do if you are have ensure that n number of things that you don't have to do in essay or in this examination process you are already on the right track you all are on the right track i will say chalo fair enough so i'll see the copies don't worry i will just switch off the recording then we'll uh, talk first thing first if you look at this self evaluation matrix it might be a case ki that you might be writing essay on your own how to judge how not to judge these all are the words which we were having in the starting of the session so i am concluding session in the same way 
we started with the slavers we are ending with the slavers only okay this is how it is we are completing our circle closely arrange orderly concise effective coherent these were the words we focused upon hai na every word is 15 mark if you consistently maintain okay this is 15 no one gets 15 marks that is also true so 90 marks is something that okay six words na ha 15 6 and 90 i hope see set is fine na chalo so 15 6 and 90 how many marks we still have to think upon 25 25 35 35 okay see set it is chalo so 35 it is it means your introduction and conclusion carries the weight if your introduction is not catchy enough if your introduction is not binding enough it is unable to bind the reader you will not get the good marks same thing with the conclusion so i have developed this matrix i consider 20 on 15 Twenty for the introduction, fifteen for the conclusion, because first impression is last impression, so five marks extra for the same. So whenever we practice any essay, whenever we start writing essay, our purpose is good introduction, decent body, again good conclusion. Okay, so this is the matrix. Clear. how to judge i have already told you how to judge orderly if you just check how many paragraphs you have written suppose 16 paragraph how many of you were able to relate it closely in how many you will deviate it you will deviate while writing you find it out na ki you are deviating somewhere or others this is there okay clear sorted till now chalo so copy is clear to last person last one clear fair enough so this is a copy introduction and conclusion of rank 592 katyayini and she got 143 marks in the sc examination basically okay so i will say she was one of the i will not say bright student but most hard working student she was like a uh, let's not leave it until or unless it is done almost five attempts five attempts she has spent in this examination presently enjoying in lavasna that's all i can say okay so topic was a good life is one inspired by love and guided by knowledge the one thing that i did not discuss hidden meaning i said we will discuss later on but we did not discuss anywhere because in reality we did not do anything like that this is stopper's copy for you for example my purpose is to teach you two things here how to analyze stopper copy at the same time how you should see objectively the things from the perspective of student koi topper hai to zaruri nahi hai ki wo bhagwan hai aap bhi aisa hi essay likh sakte hain ठीक है सिंपल सो अचीवेबल यू शुड कंसीडर इट एज अचीवेबल इट सेज अ गुड लाइफ इज वन इंस्पायर्ड बाय लव एंड गाइडेड बाय नॉलेज अ गुड लाइफ लव एंड नॉलेज सिंपल थ्री की वर्ड्स डायरेक्ट मीनिंग एवरीवन इज गेटिंग इट हिडन मीनिंग यू हैव टू गेस फ्रॉम द कंटेक्स्ट हिडन मीनिंग यू कैन ओनली डिस्क्राइब थ्रू एग्जाम्पल्स hidden meaning always 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 forces you to relate topic to the present reality israel hamas conflict can you relate person living their good life love and knowledge is it there present situation of materialism guided by love and knowledge love for nature and guided by materialism absent 
सो वेन आई से हिडन मीनिंग इट मीन्स इट विल अगेन गो अलॉन्ग विद द फ्लिप साइड रिलेटेड विद द प्रेजेंट साइड एट द प्लेस ऑफ फ्लिप साइड सिंस यू हैव रिटर्न ऑफ ओके एट द प्लेस ऑफ फ्लिप साइड इट विल बी ऑलवेज देयर ओके अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट इट कैन गिव योर कंटेक्चुअल स्टार्ट इन अ पॉजिटिव मैनर यू नो दैट इन द गाजा चिल्ड्रन आर नॉट गेटिंग सपोज लव एज वेल एज नॉलेज सो हाउ टू इंस्टीट्यूशनलाइज इट यू कैन टॉक अबाउट इट सपोज इन द प्रेजेंट टाइम्स एक्सटेंशन ऑफ स्पीसीज इज देयर absence of love and knowledge had it been our affection towards those species we would have project simple hai na whatever species we are talking about simple getting it so you can start your contextual introduction from the hidden meaning itself sometimes whatever it is shown negative you can turn it out in positive manner you can show it then you can pursue clear hidden meaning wala thing which is not directly visible indirectly visible hai na flip side wali side flip side is negative side but at the same time it can be written positively as well that is the hidden meaning of this essay clear sorted and if you are able to innovate hidden meaning through conversation or something now if you look back at your essay knowledge one why did i use contemporary man are you able to relate that i try to hit the hidden meaning values from the present present time we have to find out what are the true values of the present times because we are facing certain challenges if we are facing certain challenges can i say that i have to build upon this only that's why i brought out contemporary man along with the raja ram mohan roy ji got it clear this is what we do at the brainstorming session fair enough so let's uh, last part of the session i will not take more than 5 minutes however short more than 15 minutes now not more than 55 minutes so topic a good life is one inspired by the love and guided by knowledge just look at her introduction since the time immemorial human beings are under the quest to achieve okay means sorry means to get a good life they invented wheel through their knowledge and now while we are in 21st century they have invented artificial intelligence to make their life inspired by love and passion now she used love and guided by knowledge love she introduced knowledge was there which order we followed chronological or hierarchical yes or no she started with wheel and did at ai क्रोनोलॉजी इज देयर क्रोनोलॉजी समझिए अमित शाह वाली है ना गेटिंग इट नाउ दे आर फॉर ह्यूमन्स एंड देयर एंड एवर्स आर ऑल इंस्पायर्ड बाय इंस्पायर्ड टू वर्क फॉर अ गुड लाइफ मीन्स वट एवर वी ट्राई टू डू इज फॉर गुड लाइफ फॉर आवर्स दिस सो हैपन टू अ यंग बॉय एग्जाम्पलीफिकेशन जस्ट लुक एट इट who was sent home from school with the letter the boy then gave the letter to his mother who read this it was because of the school felt that he was genius they won't be able to teach him it was none other than the thomas edison idea was there the letter and all the story name you got in the end we were talking about that guy pragraj guy lokesh i guess if i'm recollecting name correctly getting it same thing has happened over there it is her topper copy don't worry okay the greatest inventor of century if it was not his mother, okay fine we are done with this a good life could fill the glorious events or a small happy family it depends upon the perception of an individual now individual perception we are talking about what constitutes to be a good life it is found okay blah 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 you are done with the reading na i'm not reading out now let's see analysis part analysis part which is as important as anything else introduction the quest for good life has always driven a human endeavors means it's a constant thing our progress is something that we are concerned upon love and passion these are key components that inspire a good life means you cannot deviate from this closely it is present over there then anecdote 
it was there to make it catchy we saw idea fact later upon clear perception of good life different individual may have different views divergence is there good life someone says no i need bmw to feel happy good life someone says no nah, just give me a farm house nothing else i just want to be in the nature different perceptions of good life okay and tells whether grand achievements or the simple joys of the family simple okay transition and your introduction with sentence that previews the main points coherency getting it same we have observed over there you will discuss leading smoothly into the body that's why coherency is important strength historical context ai aage wheel to then addition and that catchy it was flexible definition of a good life flexible hai it means subjectivity is there had it been only this is a good life extreme situations gs kind of answer factual this is the good life this is the good life i might not expect accept your good life getting it subjectivity how it helps you sorted so what recommendations improve transitions delve deeper into the meaning know where we found out in depth i told you one layer but it was introduction it is fine okay clarify the role of ai we just shared the ai and is ai is still we are just using it it can be negative as well so it was not clear in the introduction topos copy only some issue okay use more unique examples polished tone this is the well written comment in your essay copies it has no relevance that's why i gave you as well when you have nothing to write upon you write this i had to wrote this just to make you understand had it not been the two recommendations i can write it out but when i explained you got the real meaning only comments do not matter in the essay paper what is the logic behind it so essay paper is about the discussions okay clear sorted let's move to the conclusion side okay a good life also needs a sense of support by cohabiting with other family okay so good life is not only about me divergence was there in the introduction itself so in conclusion you have to cut down that divergence completing the circle are you able to relate it and citizens of our country though the ideas enshrined in our constitution we all work towards the excellence which idea strive towards the excellence fundamental 51 aage h kar lena yaar koi baat nahi theek hai it's fine ha huh? with our knowledge ke uh, capabilities and our love towards the bharat mata as i told catchy words in the end should attract your attention vishwamitra vishwaguru she is doing the same our homeland we work for its overall progress okay as a nation also we strive towards spreading our idea of good life one word one family one future remember the theme kaun si theme hai exactly g20 it is so how to steal the right words <coughs> future throughout the world by leading through the examples of vaccine diplomacy during the covid crisis global south international solar alliance it is showing what is the good life for india as a nation so it's not about our hegemony it's not about the exploitation like britishers our idea that's why we say we will lead the world vishwa guru okay and our vision of pro planet people therefore reinforcing the idea of mahatma gandhi knowledge without character seven sins of mahatma gandhi ethics so your ethics acts as base for your essay fair enough gave us in and love for humanity lies in being humane we endorse this philosophy of bringing a love revolution lies of humanity by permeating the idea of good life through love is political social economic aspects of life fair enough the way we started we ended the same coherency cycle you all observed now just look at the analysis of mine first of all community support you got it was not only about my good life it's about it was about my neighbors as well okay national progress 
रिमेंबर ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ इंडिया इन द बॉडी विल फैच यू गुड मार्क्स कंक्लूजन में भी मिलेगा सिंपल एज सिंपल इज दैट सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रिपीट एनीथिंग न्यू जस्ट ट्राइंग टू री रिवाइज योर सेशन विद इन लास्ट टू स्लाइड्स ओके ग्लोबल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इट्स मीन्स एज ए सेट इंडिया विश्व गुरु एंड ऑल देन गांधी जी फिलोसफी बड़ा नाम कोई भी लाओगे एसएम यू विल गेट गुड मार्क्स देन एथिकल लिविंग वेन प्रो प्लेनेट एंड ऑल वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट एथिक्स इज लास्ट पार्ट वॉज ऑल अबाउट ज्ञान बाजी शी फॉलो द सेम एथिक्स इज ज्ञान बाजी बेसिकली करेक्ट शॉर्ट एंड सो स्ट्रा स्ट्रेंथ एरिया फोकस ऑन कोहेजन कोहेजन मीन्स देयर वॉज बेटर फ्लो पॉइंट्स वर कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस पैराग्राफ कोहेंसी वॉज देयर ग्लोबल ग्लोबल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी महात्मा गांधी इन्फ्लुएंस ओके देन रिकमेंडेशन बैलेंस नेशनल एंड ग्लोबल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी हेयर वॉट अबाउट योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू वॉट्स योर नेशन मेट्स इट वॉज नॉट दैट इम्फिसाइज इन द कंक्लूजन एनी डे माई सोवेन पीपल आर मोर इम्पोर्टेंट देन ग्लोबल पीपल आई विल से नो वॉज मिस आउट और नॉट सो इट वॉज अ रिकमेंडेशन फॉर हर Getting it? Last, provide clear examples of Gandhi ji's philosophy in action. We just quoted the Gandhi ji. Had it been one example, how this is acting as a sin, it would have been a good. Fair enough. Then acknowledge practical challenges and social inequalities because article was just showing rosy picture. Some challenge and show how you can solve that challenge. It could have been way forward kind of conclusion. getting it so basically every answer every question has i will say room scope of improvement whether you are topper or not okay it is there so while analyzing the same you should not be worried about are mujhe negative comment mil gaya i got the negative comment no it's not like that rather than what improvement you can do over it fair enough so that's all from my side Sri Ram's IS serving the nation since 1985 above line hoya online we are the lifeline